what more can be said about Paulo? What more can be said about Paulo? He's a man who, if you're a football fan, you pray, you pray that this man is not injured and this guy is fully fit for the remainder of the season. This is one of the most exciting talents. And I may even go as far as to say, as far as young talent, this has to be one of the most, this is the most exciting young talent that there is. Because Dybala, he didn't have his greatest game, but what do all great players do? Despite having a bad game, a difficult game, a quiet game against a very a team who are de defensively good, you come up and you make it happen. Now, sweet left foot said by the schlanks, I'm going to get that. Um, this was a hard game for Juventus, and I was surprised. And already, you're already seeing the improvements of Spalletti. Attacking-wise, Roma don't have a clue what they're doing because Garcia has decided to buy players who have no attacking thrust. So the players that Garcia has bought and the mix within the players is the issue because too, too many players are the same, too many passes, and there are not enough attack-minded players into, the, into this team, not enough cutting edge. But defensively, they have this a drastic improvement because also other Garcia mindsets, but also Spalletti defensively has improved these guys because they're a lot tougher to break down they are better organized and Juventus just found it difficult. Because if you think about it, apart from the goal, Chesney made about three saves, but three very simple saves. You, Chesney wasn't like scrambling, making a last ditch save with his fingertips. Not really. So Juventus didn't really have many like just clear, guilt edged kind of chances. We just showed you just how good Roma's defense was. And I've got to credit Spalletti in that because this was a team who. They, speak, they concede for fun. But Spalletti has toned it down and really made them better. But the, for, for the issue with Roma is that I have no idea. No idea whatsoever what they're actually doing attacking-wise. I don't have a clue what their attack is. And how are you guys attacking? How What is the concept of your attack? It just doesn't r make any sense to me. And I do not even know what they're how they're trying to go forth. So, um... I just think that, um, but as far as Ventus go, they are going to win the Serie A. I would like Napoli to win as a neutral, or an, because I like to support the underdog, I would like Napoli to win 11 wins in a row. 11 out of 11. They're on a winning streak. They've hit a mindset. And Napoli, man, they're just feeling that heat now. Because if Napoli slip, Juve are going to come up on them. Juve have one of the most exciting talents. Pogba, again, he didn't have the greatest game. He made the key through ball. He was the one that made the attacking run that drove in on the counter. And he, that was a well-timed, very good through ball. Perfectly weighted pass. Played to perfection. So you've got Pogba, you've got Dybala, you've got a very good defense. Who know each other back to front. Marquezio is doing work right there as well. Man, even Mandzukic is, is, is trying. So I think, I mean, because this was not Juve's best game. Juve found it hard. It was a very tight game. There were not many chances. But that shows you what makes them dangerous, that Juventus can still come out and win a game like this when they're not at their best, when it's tight, when they're going up a very good defensive team who only want to worry about the defending, but they can still manage to break them down, that they can be patient, they can keep themselves in the game, not concede, keep it at 0-0, and when the chance comes, they can execute. Because that's what it's all about, guys. When you're in tight games like this, is that your chance will come. It will come. Obviously, if you are of a certain level like Juve are, your chance will come. No matter how good a defensive team is, your chance will come. So it's all about when it comes, will you execute? Because that chance may not come round again. Will you execute when that chance comes? And gladly they did. So, you know, I mean, but I just, I, I, as I mean, as in for, for Roma, you know, there are a lot of issues with this team. And Spalletti has a lot of work to do just to try and galvanize this team. Because, again, you look at De Rossi, you can see he's not, he's not happy. You know, he was obviously arguing with Mama and Zukic. And you can see by his body language that he's not enjoying himself, that there are issues within this team. Pjanic, he's not, just, he's not the same player anymore. He has completely de de deteriorated. Um, seriously. And again, Salah, once this guy was really good at something, he was good for Fiorentina, good for Roma at the point. Right now, I don't know what he's doing. I don't know what effect he's having on this team. But in contrast to Juve, you know, again, I told you, without defense, it's tight, man. Bazali, 
Bonucci, Chiellini. You cannot um, speak much more highly of having a defensive partnership that know each other back to front. These guys have been playing consistently with each, of, each other for so long. That's why that other defenses are sweet as jelly, as sweet as damn potato jelly. Um, but the team is just walks. The Juve team from back to front, the defense, the keeper, the midfield, the attacking midfielders, the wingers, the strikers, it's just a well-balanced team. People know their role and they can just see the chemistry that's seeming through, which is in complete contrast to Roma where there is no chemistry. That there, you, you don't even understand how they're going to find that uncritical. But Juve, it's a walking machine. The machine walks and it is turning good. So that's what, that's what I'm saying, man, is Dybala is a talent. Buffon is going to be 38. Just think about that. Buffon is going to be 38 years of age. Wow, what, what a pro. What a, what a, a damn pro. Watching some saves that he was making, Buffon. But I mean, you have to face facts. And you know, Double H, I always bring you the facts. Juventus are going to be the Serie A Scudetto champions. I don't see Napoli outlasting Juve. They're going for blood. They want their merchandise back. And I believe they will get it.